Here we are finally on skill 10, and skill 10 deals with fractions. And I'm showing you the sheet from your binder, your math binder, to explain what fractions are. So if you have one whole thing that is not divided into sections, they call that the whole. But when things are broken into fractions, they're broken into equal parts. So they put this line down the middle, and they split it in half, one half. If they take that same whole and they divide it into three equal parts, one, two, three, they cut it into thirds. Third means three. If I give you one of these, that means one third. And if they take that same whole and they cut it into four equal parts, these parts are exactly the same size, four equal parts, they call that fourth. And you know fourth means four. If I give you one of these, I'm giving you one fourth, one of them. So, <clears throat> excuse me, skill 10 in our drops in the bucket packets starts out pretty easy and they're talking about fractions and splitting things into equal parts. We'll zoom in on that a little bit. So for these, every single one of them, they want you to draw a line from the one, the words to the picture that goes with it. One half, and if you need to look back at your math binder to help you, you can do that. So one half means you took the whole thing and you split it into half, equal parts. One third, remember third means three. So find the one that's split into three parts. One, two, three. That's the one right there. And this one's the only one left. One fourth. Fourth means four. One, two, three, four. It's split into four parts. Just like that. <coughs> it doesn't have to be uh, a rectangle. It could be a circle. You can cut a circle into one half, one third, and one fourth. So this circle right here, they gave you the answer already, is cut into one half. One third, remember third equals means three. This one right here is cut into three equal parts. And one fourth, remember fourth equals four. And this one right here is cut into four equal parts. <clears throat> Again, they're showing you not the words this time, but the fraction. If you need to look back at your math binder, you can do that. So this is one half right there. It's split into two equal parts. See this bottom number? That's one third. The one that is cut into three equal parts one, two, three, is that one right there. And one fourth. Fourth one, three, four, the one that's cut into four equal parts. Again, we're back to a circle. <clears throat> Which one is cut into two equal parts? The two is on the bottom there. Which one is cut into three equal parts? And which one is cut into four equal parts? And we're back to the word, the words. So which one of these is cut into halves? halves. Good. Which one is cut into thirds? What does thirds mean? You're right, three. And which one is cut into fourths? Or quarters. They renamed it quarters. And fourths does mean quarters. You'll learn more about that later. And that right there is everything to do with drops in the bucket. Ten skills. We'll do a little bit each day, and all of those drops will come together in the bucket. And you'll learn a little bit about these math skills every day.